Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Francisco. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. A little bit tired, but I'm good. I'm too. A little tired. <laughs> yes, but thank God we are in the middle of the week. Okay, I don't know what has happened to your classmates, no. but we are going to begin, okay? Okay. Okay, um, Francisco, do you remember what did we study yesterday? The Yamos. Bueno, lo último me recuerdo de, de el do y el das y unos ejercicios que nos mostraba de, para identificar los errores. Ajá, exacto. Ok, exacto. But also we studied something else. Do you remember? Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Oh, I'm great, teacher. Excellent. I'm good. And you? Um, I was telling Francisco that I feel a little bit tired, but then I'm I'm good. Okay. Okay. So, Carlos, do you remember what we studied yesterday? Oh yes, and uh, our world. Um, um, um subject plus word must plus verb plus two plus verb and um, boot plus okay excellent yes that is something that we were studying as well and when did we say we are going to use this new structure wood Do you remember? No. In, in, in invitation. Okay, excellent. Yes, that was something that we were talking about yesterday. That we are going to be using wood when we're talking about invitations. Okay, so do you remember any of the examples that we saw yesterday? For example, would you like to watch TV? Ah, okay, excellent. Would you like to watch TV, Francisco? I like, I, I would like watch TV. Ah, okay, excellent. Okay, Francisco, can you make another question or invitation to any of your classmates, please? Okay. Uh, Brenda, would you like to dance cumbia? Hola, buenas noches. Me, me acabo de conectar. Hi, Brenda. Hey. Okay, so Francisco has just made a question to you and he was asking if you would like to dance cumbia. Um, I I like no I would like uh, I would like uh -huh. pero Okay. 
sería que I would like to dance cumbia. Uh, but I can. Okay, excellent, Brenda. I would like to dance cumbia, but I can't. Thank you, Brenda. Now you make a question to any of your classmates. La misma pregunta sería. No, you can oh, make a different. Yes. Oh, diferente. Um, would, would you like to play video game? Okay. No sé si bien. Yes. So you said, would you like to play video game? Video. Okay. And whom are you asking? Um, Alex. Okay, Alex. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, the question is, would you like to play video games? Yes, that is correct. Okay, I would like to... Yes, I would like to play video games. Brenda. Okay, thank you, Alex. <laughs> so I now... really enjoy to play <laughs> video games. Ah, okay, excellent. And what's your favorite video game? I have a lot of features. For example, I like uh, The Last of Us. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like zombies, zombies. Some zombies and all that. Okay, so probably I'm, I'm out of date because I have no idea about it. <laughs> Okay, excellent. So Alex, now is your turn. Make a question to any of your classmates, please. Okay. Uh, would you like to, to watch a, a movie? Cool. Uh, Selena. Okay, Selena, did you listen to Alex? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now you, Selena, make a question to another classmate. Yeah. Would you like to read? Would you like? Podría decir si que nada más te gustaría leer o le agrego un complemento. Would you like to read? Uh, well, yeah, you can add a complement. For example, would you like to read a horror story? Or a romantic story. The newspaper. Would you like to read the newspaper, Carlos? Okay. Yes, I would. Um, I read the newspaper um, um, section. The port, uh, the port is teacher in English. Sports. Uh, sports. Yes. It's sports. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, I will. Um, I read. Yes, I will. Yes, I. I. I will. I like uh, to read the newspaper section of sports. Okay, the sports section. The sports can, section. Yeah, I. Like to read the sports section. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. And now you, Carlos, make the last question to any of your classmates, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, Daphne, would you like 
uh, would you like to drink coffee? Oops, sorry. Yes, I would like to drink coffee. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, so most of you gave affirmative answers and only one person said a negative answer. That was the case of Brenda that, that says, uh, I would like to dance, to dance cumbia, sorry, but I can't. That's something that she said. So for example, on the last question, I can also say, I will, I'd love to, but I just drank coffee, okay? Me gustaría, pero acabo de tomar café, cafecito de la noche. Okay. Okay. Um, give me a few seconds. Okay. Any questions? Teacher. Yes. Algo no me queda. O sea que para responder negativo, una forma negativa solamente es así como. Um, but yeah, we can say no, however, okay, Gabby, can you hear us? Yes? Uh, okay, sorry. Okay, no, that is a polite way that we have. O sea, es una forma más cortés, más educada, para no ser así que tan cortantes. Pesado. Ajá, o pesados. Exactly. Thank you, Carlos. So you can say, yes, I would like to, or I'd love to, me encantaría, but I have lots of exams to check, for example. Tengo muchos exámenes que calificar. Or I have a lot of work to do. Tengo mucho trabajo que hacer. Okay, so we can ask, for example, um, let me see. Okay. For example, uh, Tamara, would you like to go to the beach this Sunday? Tamara? Eh, no me escuché hasta ahorita. Ok. Este, disculpe, ¿puedes repetir la pregunta? Yes, would you like me di cuenta que... Ok, sorry. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go to the beach this weekend, this Sunday, sorry? Yes, I like. It's ok. Or it's different they ask they ask okay. the, the, the for, No, it's okay. So let me just share this right now with you. This is what we were studying yesterday. Okay. Let me mm -hmm. see if I can. Okay, so probably you're not going to listen because I'm not sharing the the audio, but Okay, so here we have it. Okay, so you can see that for affirmative answers, we can say, yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to, thanks. And yes, I'd really like to go. Okay, but in the case that you don't want to, and you don't want to be rude, you can say, that, or you can answer the question, in three different ways. So for example, you can say, I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. Or I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay? Es una forma así como dicen una, ¿qué? 
zapada olímpica, dicen ahora, ¿verdad? Una respuesta diplomática. Ah, yeah, una respuesta diplomática. Thank you. O sea, me encantaría, pero trabajo hasta tarde. Or I'd like to, but I need to save money. Necesito ahorrar dinero. Or I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Quiero, oh, yeah, quiero visitar a mis papás. Okay. And here we have, this is something that we studied yesterday, the contracted form. That is I. Okay. Y como decía ahí Carlos, ¿verdad? Es una forma más, bueno, es una forma diplomática. Y también es para no ser así que tan, tan cortantes o tan rudos, ¿verdad? No, gracias, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, thank you. Ok, and this is what we were studying as well, the structure for accepting. So you can see that we're going to use the subject plus would plus the verb plus to plus verb plus complement. In this case, you can see that we are using would and then we are using like or love. I would love to go to her new house or I would like to go to her new house. O sea, podemos usar el verbo, ya sea like or love. Me gustaría o me encantaría a María, for example, ir a su nueva casa. Okay, so you can see we have wood, then we have a verb, we have two, and we have another verb, plus complement, okay? And for negative, let me see, or for refusing, okay? You can use the subject plus wood, plus verb, plus two, plus verb, comma, and we use but, the conjunction but, okay? So I'd love, sorry, I'd love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Lo que nos decía Beatriz, I would like to dance cumbia, but I can't, okay? Is that clear? Mm, teacher. Yes? I have a question. Um, um, answer, answer, uh, always verbs simple present. Yes. And if you can see, um, okay, let me stop sharing this. And let me share the board right now. Okay, so for example, you can see that we have those questions. Okay, so if we can, or if we want to answer what Beatriz said, I can say that she would like to dance cumbia, but she can't, okay? Um, an example, Francisco, yeah, would like to, to drink soda, but he can't. Okay. Um, so this is the way that we have. And it doesn't matter if we're talking about the first person, second person, or third person in singular or plural. The auxiliary that we are using this time, that is would, would be the same for all of them. And the verb will be in its base form. And then we're going to have another verb in its infinitive form, okay? Así es como lo vamos a tener. No importa si estoy hablando de I, you, he, she, it, we, they. El auxiliar siempre va a ser el mismo para todos. Acá no me cambia como en el presente simple, ¿verdad? Que utilizo lo que es el do o el das, o si le agrego s al verbo, es, etc. No, acá el auxiliar es el mismo para todos. 
y como estoy usando el auxiliar, después el verbo va a ir de su forma infinitiva. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Another question. No? So tell me, is this clear for you? Clear, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. So now, since you said that this is clear for you, what we are going to do is the following, okay? Let me see how many people I have. Um, okay, so we are going to be working in breakup rooms. We are going to work in groups of three and you need to create your own conversation. Okay, make it and refusing an invitation. Yes, so for example, let's see, I need volunteers. Um, we're going to have Alex and Francisco. Make an invitation, okay? Okay, teacher. Uh, Francisco, yeah. yeah. Okay. Francisco, uh, hi Francisco, how are you hi. today? Hi, fine. And you? Uh, I'm good, I'm here, but I would like to, to invite you to go a new place. Would you like to go with me? I like, I like to, but I need to know where is this place. Okay. Uh, this place is in San Salvador, in Zona Rosa. Oh, think song. <laughs> oh, okay. And yes, I. You... Yes, tell, tell me. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, Francisco, could you like to drink maybe beers or soda? I don't know. In that place, is it's cool, and you can you can find beers, soda, coffee, chocolate, whatever you want. I would I would like to drink uh, soda. 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 Yes, soda. And you? Okay. Would you like to drink soda or juice or beer? Mm, I don't know. Let me think. I would like to drink a beer. Yeah, a beer. <laughs> just, just one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. So, Okay, let's go next week. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So that's what we are going to be doing right now. Okay. So I need you to pay attention to what your classmates are saying to you so you can answer them. Okay. Is it clear what we are going to do? Okay. So let's begin working. So let me just assign you and your groups. And there we go. Hi, Gerardo. Hi, teacher. Okay, we are going to be working in breakup rooms. I just assigned you to one of them. Ahorita vengo entrando, teacher. Me sí. agarro un poco la tarde. That's okay, don't worry about it. Um, pero va a haber ahí como, bueno, un mensaje para que se una a una sesión de grupos pequeños. Okay, then you're welcome.
Hi, Gabriela, can you hear me? No, I can, um, but I can, eh, no tengo mucho aire, no sé cómo puedo decir eso. <laughs> resistant, oh, no, no, no resistant, yeah, yeah, uh, no, I, I can, I can resist them. <laughs> you can no. what, sorry? What, what do you I want can, to say? Um, Francisco y Daphne. Sí, pero ¿qué es lo que quiere decir? Carlos ah, quería que, referirse... Que, esta, eh, que no, él me decía que íbamos a jugar un, en el estadio, pero yo le decía que, que no tengo resistencia para jugar en, en, en un estadio. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, 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 yes... Uh, Uh, yes, I, I like um, to this do the to play soccer, but I but I can resist them. But I can't resist them. Mm, pero no, no puedo oh, resistencia. Oh, no, como um, como tener condición física, como condición física. Okay, but I don't have. But I don't have um, the the physical condition. We can say, um, yes, uh, or a, a good physical condition. A good physical condition. Condition, yes. sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, then. Carlos and Daphne, would you like to go out on Saturday? Uh, repeat, repeat, Francisco. Would you like to go out on Saturday? Out. Yes, out? I yes I would like. I hear there will be a rock concert this Saturday. And you, Carlos? Um, Yes, I, I, I like, uh, um, yes, I like uh, mm, to concept, uh, sorry, but, but I can, um, no money. But I, but I don't have money. No, but I don't I have, have money. Okay. Hey, Carlos, you have to say money very much. <laughs> okay. Daphne, can we go with you to the concert? Concert? Could you repeat the question? Can we go with... I'm good. Hey, Brenda. This weekend I'm going to go to the beach. Y te dije, would you like to go? Yo que me respondería en ese momento. Um, um, uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Sí. I, I will... Uh -huh. okay, I decir así, mira, yes, I would like to go with you. Y yo te di, vaya, y lo, 
Ajá, me, de, me, me puedes decir así, va. Uh, yes, I would like to go with you. Oh. Ok, te diría yo. Y de repente vemos que viene Brian. Hey, let's see. It's Brian, te voy a decir. It's Brian. Ahora, Brian, tú decirnos porque ya estás en la, en la, en la situación, ya, ya estás en la conversación. ¿Qué dirías vos cuando llegas? Solo dije, hey, let's see. It's Brian. Soy, eh, soy este, eh, no, no escuché el resto de la, de la conversación porque se me había vale. ido la conexión, entonces no sé. Y... Ok, te voy a decir, va, la idea es así, mira, que yo me encuentro con Brenda y mm -hmm. luego vos llegas. Yo le dije a Brenda, hi Brenda, how are you? It's a long time without see you. Le. Viene ella y me respondió, mm -hmm. I'm good and you? Y le dije, I'm good. Hey Brenda, this weekend I'm gonna go to the beach. Would you like to go? Le pregunté. Viene ella y me respondió, yes, I would like to go with you. Ok, le dije. Hey, let's see, it's Brian. Entonces, como que yo le diga, hey, mira, eh, como que ahí viene Brian. Entonces, vos, vos podrías llegar y, uh -huh. y responder. No sé qué nos podrías decir vos en ese momento. Oh, ya, yeah. ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, yeah. And... Hi, Alex. Hi, Brenda. And what do you... What do you... What they doing this weekend? ¿Cómo se, cómo, what, de, de, me... Es como decir, este, ¿qué es lo que van a hacer este, este fin de semana? Ah, entonces puedes decir, what do you do? What do you do o this weekend? No puede, o qué va a trama. Es que no sé si lo podríamos hacer con Will. Creo que con Will sería la, la pregunta. Por el podría decir, what will you do this weekend? This weekend. Ajá, ajá. así sería, okay. porque sería en futuro. Esperamos. Okay. Hay alguien más, disculpe que yo estoy en teléfono, no sé si hay más gente. We have Erika too. Ok, Erika. Oh. Hi Erika, are you there? Ok. Espérame, Brian, ya para, porque está también Eric. Ok, aquí está Brian. Okay. Eric. I'm here. Acabo okay, de empezar, okay. así que no sé um, de Vaya. qué hablan o cuál es el tema. Vaya, mira, te explico. Ahorita estamos formulando una pregunta donde el día de ayer, yo ayer no, no puedo entrar a la clase, pero ayer fue como que eh, haces invitaciones con Gu. No sé si vos ayer estuviste. No, no estuve. Entonces, ok. Entonces, por ejemplo, ahorita estamos formulando una pregunta, una, una conversación, perdón, donde yo me encuentro con Brenda y llega a Brian. Entonces, lo que podríamos hacer de que como tú ya, tú ya estás acá, podría yo, en vez de decir, hey, let's see, en vez de decir, es solamente Brian, sino que también con vos, o okay, que ya Brian fuera de... Ya regresé. Hola. Sí. <ríe> Vaya. Entonces, otra pregunta sería: ¿Would you like to go to eat? Ahí sería solamente Sí. Yes. Would you like to draw a flower? No sé cómo en verbo indicar si draw o draw. Exacto, en verbo indicar es draw y me acuerdo. Picture. Yes. En verbo dibujar también. 
Row. Yes, uh, as you were saying, bro, D-R-A-W. Okay. Yes, I will. Would you like to practice baseball? I like to, but I need oh, I have a start. Okay. Exam or for exam. Okay, excellent. Would you like to go? Okay, so I was listening to you, and let me tell you that you've been doing an excellent job. Congratulations. Uh, so now we are going to share what you did, okay? Um, let me see, we're missing three people. Okay, uh, so I have two groups. I have Carlos' group and Gerardo's group. So who's going to begin? Tell me. Um, okay. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Okay. Uh, hi, Carlos and Daphne. Would you like to go to soccer match? Yes, I like to go play soccer. Yes, I I'd love to, but I can't. Oh, sorry. Then would you like to go out on Saturday? Yes, I like to go. Uh, um Saturday, but I cannot have the money. I had not had money. And you Daphne? Yes, I would like to to go, but uh, I hear there will be a concert this Saturday. Oh really? Yes. Would you like to go to a rock concert this Saturday? Yes, I love to yes, I like. thanks. How about you, yeah. Carlos? Yeah. Yes, I like I, I, I like to go, Daphne. After concert, would you like to go drink soda, coffee, or beers? Yes, I like to to drink um four beer and con and you Daphne? Yes, I'd love to. Okay. See you on Saturday. See you. I see you. Okay, excellent. I really like it. How many beers are you going to drink, Carlos? Sorry. <laughs> um, a little, a little. Four, four okay. beers, teacher. Only four. Okay. Pero Only no four. De las cholas, right? No, de las grandotas, no. Ah, okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So now Thank let's you, see who's next. Thanks. Okay, uh, if you want Carlos, Francisco, and Daphne, you can choose um, the, who's going to be the next group. Okay. Okay. No sé quiénes formaron un grupo, no pero sé. el grupo okay, donde Arnold, está okay. Erika, por ejemplo. Okay, so we're going to have Erika's group. 
Teacher. Yes. I'm in that group, but we didn't finish the, the conversation because we returned to the group. Oh, okay. Um, so we're going to have Selena and Gerardo. Okay. Hi, Selena. Selena. Would you like to go run at the morning? Yes, I would you like to eat pizza? Yes, I yes, I love to dance. Would you like chocolate? I like I like to but I need drink coffee. Gerardo, would you like would you like to go work on Sunday in the morning? I would I would like to go, but I can't because this is my uncle. Would you like to go out, out on Saturday? Um, I don't know, but I have one with my family. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, so Alex, you said that you couldn't finish with your group, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, and you were working with Erica, Brian, and Brenda, right? Yes, we okay. think. Okay, so let's see. Make the conversation with Brian, please. And I or another <laughs> or, or no, other. you and Brian. <laughs> okay. Hi, Brian. Hi, Alex. Hello. How are you? It's a long time without seeing you, Brian. I'm fine, uh, Alex. Uh, how are you? <coughs> um, I'm good. Um, hey, Brian. This weekend, I'm going to go to the beach with some friends. Would you like to go? And I would like to go to the beach, but I can't. I I visit my my grandma. You're gonna visit your grandmother? Yes, or? I visit my grandmother. Okay, so maybe we can we can go to to the beach other other weekend, another weekend. If yes. you wanna yes, I really like to go. Okay, Brian. So I will. Uh, I call you. Take care. Okay. Thank you. And now we're going to have Erica and Brenda. Yes. Hello, Brenda. Hello. How are you? Hi, Pam. And you? I'm fine, thank you. And what are you doing this weekend? Uh, 
I am going to study. Oh, really? That's good. So, would you like to go to the beach with me? Would you like to go to the beach with me? Um, I I would like, but I can't. I'm not here very well. Brenda, can you repeat the answer one more time, please? Pardon? Yeah, can you say your answer one more time? Yes, please. Brenda? Es que no la escuché bien. Sí, que repitiera la, la respuesta, por favor. La mía. Sí. Uh, I do like, but I can. Okay. I don't understand. You say I would like, but she can't. That's what she said. That she would like to, but she can't. Oh, okay. Okay, Brenda. So, bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you, girls. So what we are going to do right now is the following. Um, we have a reading that is about Cristina Aguilera. Do you know her? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, what can teacher. you tell me about her? She is a famous singer. Uh -huh. I don't know a lot of about uh, about her life, I know that she's a singer. <laughs> and what type of she's music? From, uh -huh. She's from the United States. Uh huh. And what kind of music does she sing? Uh, pop English music. music. Pop, pop music. Pop music. Okay. Oh, no, no. Yeah, pop music. Okay. And I'm... in how many languages does she sing? In two. Spanish, English. Spanish and English. Okay, excellent. So you know a little about her. So we're going yeah. to read this short article that we have about her, Cristina Aguilera. Okay. And let me see, Carlos, you're going to begin, please. Okay. Cristina Aguilera. So far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all of all ages, ages. Around, ages around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. She generation. Is, of her generation, she is Christina Aguilera. Here are some highlights of Christina life and career. And career, thank you. Um, and career. Okay, wait. So you can see that here we have the timeline. Gerardo, can you read the first one, please? Nineteen eighty. Cristina is born on December 
AT, ATF in the New York. In New York. Okay. In New York. Thank you. Selena, can you read the second one, please? Yes, nineteen eighty-eight. Oh, okay. Thank you, Erica. Continue. Christina is on TV in Disney New Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spear and Justin Timberlake. Okay, thank you. Alex, the next one. Okay, teacher. Uh, Christina records all I wanna do with Keiso Makanishi. I I punish but star she tours Japan. Japan, no sé cómo. Japan, yes. And Japan. which year did she do that? Nineteen ninety-four. Okay, thank you, Alex. Daphne, continue, please. Nineteen ninety-eight, Christina. Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Thank you, Francisco. 1999, Christina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. In a Bottle, okay. Um, Brenda. Uh, 2001. Uh -huh. Along with other, other singer. Christina Record, Lady Marmal Marmalade. Okay, Marmalade. Marmalade for the movie Mowgli Rouge. Mm, yeah, that is the Mulan Rouge. Okay, thank you. Uh, Brian, do we have Brian here? Okay, he's not here. So continue, Carlos, please. Sorry, teacher. Okay, teacher. Uh, 2002. Yes, teacher. Yes. Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Game in the Salt Lake City, Utah. Thank you, Gerardo. 2004. Christina wins the best. Uh, Female. Female. Female pop, pop vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Okay, thank you. Um, Erica, continue, please. Overall, Christina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. Huh? I simply love my job so do all christina fans okay thank you so you can see that here we have a little bit about christina aguilera you were saying something about her that she is a pop singer so now let's see how much you remember so on this exercise that what we need to do is to number the sentences that we have from number one that is the first event to number eight, that is the last event. So you can see we have, she sings at the Winter Olympic game. Then we have B, she is born in New York. She wins a Grammy for Beautiful. She records a song for Disney movie. She travels around Japan. She works with Britney Spears. She is on television for the first time and she has her first very successful song. So what is number one? 
Number seven. Huh? Number seven. Okay, number one. Where are you telling me that letter A is seven? Yes, teacher. Okay. And she's born in New York? Según el orden de eventos que acabamos de leer, ¿cuál es el número uno? One. One. ¿Pero cuál es? Letter B, number one. Ah, ok. Yes. And what is number two? Or let's see, we have this one. She wins a Grammy for Beautiful. Which number is this one? Letter C, number number eight. Eight. Okay. Then we have she records a song for a Disney movie. Number five. Okay. She travels around Japan. Number four. Okay. She works with Britney Spears. Number two. Number two? <clears throat> yes. Number three. Number two or number three? Number... Number three. three. Seguro. Yes, right. yes, number three. Ah, okay. She is on television for the first time. The second one. Is number two? Yes. Okay. And the last one, she has her first very successful song. Number six. Okay. Seguro que ese es el orden. Yes? Yes. Okay, so let's see. Okay. I'm just checking. Okay, excellent. Okay, perfecto. Sale que tenemos 25 de 25. Okay, so there we have that short reading, a short article about Cristina Aguilera. And basically that is section four. Eso es prácticamente la sección cuatro. Um, can you tell me if you have any questions or if everything is clear for you? I am not finished section 4, teacher. No ha terminado aún? No, teacher. Okay, don't worry about it. Yeah, remember that next week, next Thursday, we're going to have the final exam. Y ya sería ya para la próxima semana, ¿verdad? Que deberían de haber terminado o completado lo que es todo el módulo. Pero si aún yes, no han sure. completado, pues no se preocupe, todavía tenemos esta semana. ¿Ok? Great teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. ¿Alguna pregunta? Teacher, do el módulo, módulo hasta la sesión 5. La otra semana, ¿verdad? Que ya es el examen final. Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, so if there are no more questions, we are going to stop here. And I'll see you tomorrow. Ok, good night, teacher. Bye, Bye. good night. Good night, see you. See you.